Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in statics and we're going to be solving problem 1.12, okay? So it says, evaluate each of the following to three significant figures and express each answer in SI units using an appropriate prefix. We got problem A, B, and C, okay? So let's start with problem A. So they're giving us that we have 684 micrometers and we're going to divide it all by 43 milliseconds, okay? And I'm going to explain this tactic in our problem A and then we will use them for B and C. The first thing I'm going to do is, hey, I'm going to convert these prefixes into their exponential form and that way we can do the multiplication, the division, whatever they're giving us and we're going to um, at the end, we're going to do a three significant figure and then we're also going to use an appropriate prefix, okay? So let's go with this. So as I said before, we're going to first just change our prefixes to uh, their exponential form. So right here we get micro, that means times 10 to the negative six. The unit is meter and all of this is divided by 43 times 10 to the negative three seconds okay so first thing i would like to see so we got times 10 to the negative 3 can be canceled in here and then this negative 6 will become negative 3 okay so that's one thing to keep in mind and we're going to plug into our calculator 684 divided by 43 so that's going to give us a total of 15.906 nine seven and it keeps on going okay and then we're going to do times 10 to the negative three as we said before meters per second okay so what we have in here is that hey we want three significant figures so in, if we were going to do three significant figures we need to start counting so we start with one two three so we need to stop at this nine however if we have five or greater next to it we need to round up in this case we have a zero so that means we know we don't need to round up what we need to do is just keep the same number which is the nine so we're gonna end up with 15.9 and the next thing we're going to do is hey we have a per ex uh, uh, exponential of 10 to the negative three the exponent for well that's the same thing as a milli right so we can put milli meters and all this divided by seconds and just like that, we found out the solution for our problem A. Let's go ahead and do our problem B. Well, what do we have? We have 28 milliseconds, all. So all of this is multiplied by 0 0.0458 and then mega meters. And all of that is going to be divided by 300 and 48 milligrams okay so just as before let's start by converting all these prefixes into their exponential form so we're going to still have 28 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds multiplied by 0 0.0458 times 10 to the positive 6 meters and all of this divided by 348 times 10 to the negative 3 grams okay and the first thing I want to point out is like hey we got a 10 to the negative 3 and 10 to the negative 3 one on top one at the bottom so what can we do well we can just cross them out cancel them out in that way our prefix or our exponent form in this case is times 10 to the positive 6. So what we're going to do is going to plug this, this 28 times this number divided by this 348. We're going to plug it into our calculator and that's going to bring us a total of 0 0.0036805 and it keeps on going times 10 to the positive six and the units we got is meters times seconds divided by grams okay 
So we're going to do a couple of things in this step. And the first one is that, hey, we need three significant figures. Well, we start with in here. So we have one, two, three. Now the next one is a five. That means that we get a round up. And then what we're going to do is also, we're going to multiply this by, we're gonna use three of these positives, okay? So what I mean by that is that we're gonna end up with a 3.69 times 10 to the positive three meters times seconds over gram. Now, if I went too fast, all I did was basically, I moved my decimal point by three times and I subtracted three from our exponential form in here. So, so you can see we went from times 10 to the positive six to times 10 to the positive three, but we also moved our decimal point all the way to a 3.69, okay? And just with that, well, we can call this a 3.69 kilometers times seconds all over the graphs, okay? And just like that, we found out our solution for our problem B. Last but not least, we got problem C. So we got C where you're giving us 2.68 millimeters and we're going to multiply this by 426 megagrams, okay? And just like before, we're going to end up with a 2.68 times 10 to the negative three. We're going to multiply by 426 times 10 to the positive six, in this case, grams. We're gonna plug this into our calculator. We're gonna also know that this times 10 to the negative three will cancel with three of my positive six. And we're gonna end up having, when we plug into the calculator, 1,141.68 times 10 to the positive three meters times grams, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is, we can do two ways of answering this question. So what I can do is, hey, I can convert this into at times 10 to the positive six by moving the decimal point three times to the left, right? So until we end up with 1.14 because of the three significant figures times 10 to the positive six meters times gram. And then that can be converted into 1.14 mega meters times grams. So I will call that a solution. However, it's very weird to find in normal applications mega meters. So the other thing we can do is that we can also call it 1.14 kilometers times kilograms. So as we can see, we split this times 10 to the six twice. So we got times 10 to the three times 10 to the three. And that, my friends, will make us into a kilometer and also a kilogram. And either of these two answers is correct. So I hope you guys like this video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.